up my lovely bushes, it's been a hot minute since we've talked about My Hero 1's Justice 2. Now they have revealed a couple of new characters, I thought the characters were a little bit spoilery because they, they only just now showed up in the anime. It's the most recent episode, if you haven't watched it yet, turn away, Th these are massive spoilers, I'm telling you. Go watch that episode, come back here and, and then get excited with me because uh, these two characters, mmm, mmm. Alright, you have been warned, we're gonna watch the trailer and react to it, it's not even a minute long, it's super short, but uh, we'll do some moveset analysis and start putting together what these guys movesets uh, will look like. This is full power 100% Deku and uh, he doesn't have Eri on his back, you'll notice that. I have uh, something to say about that in a second and uh, they're calling this uh, Chisake or Overhaul uh, version 2. I, th I th thought you could get a lot better names for that. Oh, that is giving me some Dobby vibes right there. I'll explain why in a second. It doesn't look like Dobby's quirk at all, I know that but Combo wise, that looked like Dobby's thing. This is his aerial combo. Okay, very powerful. Seems good. Whoa, 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 chill. Chill, Chisaki. Damn. Oh, uh, interrupted that yellow attack into super. We don't get to see the full yellow. That that yellow did give me some shoot style Deku vibes. Uh, and that that was a very powerful yellow attack if you weren't familiar with the first game. Yeah, I do. Oh, I don't want to see that broken stuff in my game at all. So yeah, that's the news. That's the new characters. Uh, another version of Deku and another version of Overhaul. Did not see this coming, but also I don't read the manga. Didn't even know they were powered up characters. Some of you guys have actually asked me to do a roster prediction for this, but th this game is heavily focused on the new season of My Hero Academia. And since I don't read the manga, I don't know who's gonna show up. I'll say that Bilbzia has been right so far, so it's... Let's just go with his prediction. I do have a few things to say about this moveset. First of all, Deku isn't wearing Eri on his back. If you've watched the latest episode, you know that Deku is only able to go 100% full power because Eri, it's another character, is hanging from his back and Eri has the power to rewind humans. She can rewind time basically on a single human body. So Deku keeps damaging himself, but also time keeps being reversed. So he's able to maintain the 100% full power. Now in the game, uh, you don't have to play with Eri on your back apparently. And I, I'd say that's good. I, I wouldn't want that, honestly. I, I like to have the option to do that if the game offers the option because I do think that Eri will be sort of uh, an accessory that you can equip. They did say that in story mode, Eri will be on your back. They said that in a tweet. But in versus mode, she's just not there as you can see. So she will most likely end up being uh, a customization item, an accessory that you can equip on any character. I feel dirty talking about Eri as an accessory, but I did this. I think that's what she's gonna be. Overhaul's intro, I, I think it's kind of lazy, if I'm being honest. I'm not a big fan of the like rotating arms thing. It's whatever. I feel like they could have done better with this character. I do like the final fighting pose when he's just ready to go into battle. I do like that a lot. Alright, first combo from Overhaul. He hits you a bunch with his normal attacks, then links into the yellow. And finally, I believe this is his quirk button. His quirk button hits you into the air and then the rocks that follow you cause this massive explosion. Now the reason why this was giving me Dobby vibes is because Dobby can also throw a projectile into your opponent and then he has so much time to just jump and continue the combo. And looking at this animation, I think Chisaki is also gonna have the time to just stop the combo, jump, air dash and not even spend his jump cancel. Which in this game, the jump cancel does cost meter, so this could be huge for Chisaki actually. Next we have Deku with a flurry of punches, that, that just looks like an all might level of flurry. I believe that will be his quirk. Chisaki then misses his quirk because Deku was teching out of a combo and Deku just gets in. And that looks like a mix of shoot style and uh, I, I want to say All Might. Looks like a mix of those two characters movesets and I think that's really fitting for what Deku is right here, his powered up mode. But yes, these seem to be just his normal attacks in the air. Next we have a very basic combo from Overhaul and uh, this quirk special lasts for a real long time. Doesn't deal that much damage. I don't know if this will be a combo tool you'll go to. Maybe with assists, with uh, assists combos, that might be a thing. But other than that, I don't know. Has good range, lasts for a long time, but the damage is meh. And then Deku does his normal attack into yellow and then cancels into super. The thing is, the beginning of that yellow attack animation totally looks like shoot style Deku's. And that yellow attack has 
haunted my dreams, man. It's one of the most broken attacks in the game, and uh, when when the devs dropped the game and stopped supporting it, I was like, man, we're, we're gonna have to deal with this yellow attack now, aren't we? There are plenty of other characters with broken yellow attacks, but uh, I wouldn't want to see this making a comeback. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's not that powerful anymore. Then goes into Super, and the Super is pretty much Deku throwing two projectiles with his legs, sort of kicking the air and hitting the opponent with air pressure. This Super looks very flimsy. If you look at the time between the two hits, it's almost like the combo drops. It doesn't actually drop, but it seems super close to dropping. So let's imagine the distance between Deku and Overhaul was bigger. This, this super might have very well dropped. Maybe Overhaul would have been able to block the second attack, but this is only, only an early impression. If you are planning on maining 100% Deku, this super seems flimsy is all I'll say right now. But we won't know for sure until we get our hands on the game, and uh, we still have a few months to go. Oh yeah, two months. I believe there are only four characters remaining to reveal for the base roster, so I'll be here reacting whenever they reveal them. According to Bilbsy's prediction list, none of them are new characters, which, if he's right, it's a little bit surprising if they haven't revealed them yet. I'll also say that Dinosaur Girl made quite the impression during this season, so I think she has a fair shot of making it. And on the villain side, I absolutely love Rappa. His fighting style is maybe a little bit too similar to muscular so it might not make sense to have him in the game but I, I still I love the character I would love if he made it an appearance that's gonna do it for this video are you guys still excited for my hero are you passing on this one let me know your opinions in the comments down below and as always thank you very much for watching my name is Globku and I'll see you next time boy